as police have come out in force to outbreaks of violence. Shame on you! Shame on you! Britain's towns and cities are witnessing scenes like this. Hello, everyone. Robert Jenrick is running to be Conservative leader and claimed that the government and police have not treated counter-protesters equally. Violent disturbances of this kind, whether they are from the far right or from sectarian gangs, as we've seen more recently, for example, in Birmingham, are equally wrong. And then this about Palestine protests. I thought it was quite wrong that somebody could shout what about the Allah last Akbar on the streets of London and not be immediately arrested or project genocidal chants onto Big Ben and that person not be immediately arrested. That attitude is wrong and I'll always call out the police for it. I think at the moment, the police are doing their very best. The Muslim Council of Britain accused the MP of Islamophobia. It means God is great. Look, you saying that you shouldn't be talking and using religious terms, basic religious terms like this, is just unacceptable. And what he said earlier on Sky was something that is unequivocally Islamophobic. It's slurring ordinary Muslims. Mr Jenrick later clarified that he understands the term is used peacefully and spiritually by millions of British Muslims. But he posted this video to argue that it could be chanted in an intimidatory and threatening way which could breach public order laws. Fellow Conservatives called on Mr Jenrick to apologise. I was aghast. Here is someone who I've worked with. When you start squirming around and looking for a justification, that is wrong. Say sorry, move on. Oh, gosh. The Deputy Prime Minister, visiting an asylum hotel attacked in Rotherham, accused him of inflaming tensions, which Mr Jenrick's team denied. People like Robert Jenrick has been stirring up some of the problems that we've seen in our communities. Actually, what we want to see is that communities come in together. The Prime Minister has this week rejected outright what's being branded two-tier policing. One leadership rival said Mr Jenrick's comments were unwise, but social cohesion is already featuring heavily in the Conservative leadership race and debate may rage on long after these protests have died down. Tomorrow, Cohen, Sky News, Westminster.